In the next six slides, we will summarize theory behind this work, methods, results, and implications. In the Big Five trait theory, personality is characterized as clusters of habitual behaviors. In social cognitive theory, personality is conceptualized as a set of dynamic, intrapersonal factors. Self-efficacy is the focal determinant in this theory. Juxtaposing these theories, we examine whether students need both the staying power of their dispositions and self-efficacy beliefs for academic performance or if either one alone is enough. Research has shown that conscientiousness, openness, and agreeableness improve academic performance, whereas extroversion and emotional instability can hinder it. The Big Five traits also influence self-efficacy beliefs by increasing task engagement and effort. Self-efficacy is highly correlated with academic performance. For example, in a recent meta-analysis, out of 50 predictors of academic performance, self-efficacy had the strongest correlation. Self-efficacy is adaptable because it is not bound by traits. Instead, it depends on experience with any given challenge. We conceptualize and test three models. In the trait model, performance is affected directly by the big five traits and self-efficacy, as well as indirectly by the traits through self-efficacy. This model was tested by Judge and his colleagues, who reported that self-efficacy loses its performance predictiveness in the presence of the big five traits, a finding at odds with much prior research on self-efficacy. In the independent model, the direct link from self-efficacy to performance is removed to test the validity of the effect of self-efficacy on performance. In the intrapersonal model, we examine whether the big five traits operate completely through self-efficacy, because those beset with self-doubt may not even engage in academic activities. We collected data from five independent samples, totaling 875 participants academic performance was measured with final exam scores. We conducted meta-analytic path analysis using both the average sample size and the harmonic mean. All meta-analytic procedures follow Stajkovich and Luthen's 1998. Self-efficacy significantly predicted performance in all of the analyses. Of the big five traits, Conscientiousness and neuroticism were predictive of self-efficacy and performance only in the analyses that use the harmonic mean. The other three traits were fleeting. If one buys the empirics from prior research that, and I quote, once the individual differences are taken into account, the predictive validity of self-efficacy shrinks dramatically, or that distal traits predict performance in a way that makes self-efficacy inconsequential, or that self-efficacy is little more than past performance, then student selection becomes the only important aspect of education. In this view, academic performance is mostly unaffected by teachers, mentoring, modeling, and verbal persuasion. Yet, our findings indicate the opposite. In fact, we would argue that our findings bring good news to students who are trying to cultivate skills to garner a better future, parents laboriously shepherding their children through transitional phases of development, teachers who are striving to promote learning in students who are disengaged from the educational system, or social reformers battling under tough odds to affect change in the educational system, to name a few. In the final analysis, a psychological theory is judged by its explanatory power, predictive power, and operative power to promote personal and social change. Compared to the Big Five Traits approach to educational attainment, which by definition focuses on innate traits and accordant student selection, self-efficacy's power to impact personal development is more likely to earn a place for social cognitive theory in the pantheon of useful theories.